Hello everyone! Today we are taking a look at the dungeon pack. This is a Blender file that I'm gonna share with you. You can find the link to download it in the description. Once you have the file, you simply need to have Blender installed. You double click and you open the file and you will have this. So this is a collection of dungeon assets that you can use to build your own like a battle map room, for example or anything else, to be honest. We have some flooring here. We have some walls. We have some wooden platform, some doors, hatches, and some various props in here. And we're gonna have a look at how to use this in Blender, even if you never used Blender before. So basic control, scroll wheel to zoom, middle mouse to rotate, shift middle mouse to pan. Okay, so let's make sure we have some settings enabled before we start using this file. First, if you go to this show gizmo menu here, enable the move option, so we have the moving always available to us. And here on top, because this is like a grid layout, we want to enable this magnet icon and the snapping set to increment we can also enable rotate as well. So move, rotate, increment. There we go. Because now when we move the stuff, it will snap to grid basically, and it's gonna make uh, life a lot easier for us. So I'm gonna show you how to build like a very simple room. So we have all these files here. They are organized in collection here on the right sidebar, as you can see. And let's grab a floor. So let's say we want to use this one. Now, we're gonna use a very useful shortcut, which is the duplicate one. And that is Shift D. But if we do that right now, uh, the positioning will be kind of all over the place. So the easy way to do this is to either hit um, numpad seven or just click the Z on the axis here, and we will get a top-down view. This way, we can only place stuff in the um, in this specific plane and th the stuff will not go over all over the place in the in the 3d space so with our object selected here we just click to select we shift d and now we have a copy so we will go to the origin here doesn't really matter where you put it it's just out of uh, just because it's like makes more sense to me and as you can see it's perfectly flush with the floor so now that we have our first style, we want to uh, populate our floor. We have multiple ways. So let's go back to the top down view. So we can either select this and shift D and keep making more and more tiles to make our layout, as you can see. Uh, the alternative is to use something called the array modifier. We're going to have a look at it because it's uh, very useful. So let's select the object that we want. On the right, we go to the range. We have add modifier. We click here and go array. And now it will automatically make them in the X axis, right? So we can change this X instead of one to zero. And we can change the Y to one and it will go the other way. So if you want to do large uh, square rooms, and if you want to go on the other side as well, because if we go one, one, it will go diagonally. We can simply add modifier array. So we add a second one here, and this is gonna be zero and one. And now we can make basically a grid, right? So when we are happy, with either our manual floor or the array one, because if you, for example, want to make like mixed tiles, you really probably want to do it by hand. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you this because it might be useful to know. Now we want to apply it because this is not actually real. It's just, uh, it's just multiplying it, but there is not actually applied to the model. So we want to apply the modifiers. And once we apply them, we cannot edit this block anymore, basically. So on the right here, on our modifiers, we go to the top one. This little arrow here, we click apply. 
and the second one apply and now we have our solid object we have our big grid so as you can see we have the base for our uh, dungeon or whatever so now we're gonna go and pick like some wall I'm gonna do something very basic just to show you um, how it works so let's maybe pick this wall we go back this shift D bring the the wall here now we have our wall as you can see and if you wanted because of like the if you like the alignment more you can even move this if you use this little arrows here it will move only on a certain axis so you don't necessarily need to go to like this view or this view but if you want you can go with the, this is a numpad one or click the axis again and you can move this since it's just one square tall like this and we will have it at zero and now if we want we can bring in the walls to have more uh, maybe like a look that makes more sense I'm gonna go back to my array modifier and just whoop, make my wall it doesn't exactly align turns out but uh, it's not a big issue um, after we've done this I'm gonna just do a quick thing again so I will apply so shift D I'm not in the correct view as you saw shift D and we make another one possibly on this end yeah perfect and then shift D we make another one now R to rotate we do this and we can place it right here now you can see that there is some uh, overlapping on the outside but it is mostly fine and then shift D and we place our last one there we go is this cor it, this is definitely not correct because it was not in the correct view space so let's fix it and there we go so this I think yes it's indeed flipped so uh, let's uh, as you can see the origin is here so when I rotate it rotates around that if you want to center it you can right click set origin uh, and I think it's origin to center of mass there we go now we can rotate around the center kind of so always remember let's go to the top view before we rotate there we go so now it's in the correct way this one is um, not correct as well it's seven R to rotate and there we go okay let's move this wall just one in and we seem to be good to go there you go so now you can just basically add the core as you wish so you just go seven and then we can add some stuff like uh, maybe you want this uh, wooden platform here so we got this shift the shift the shift the now we possibly want um, a way to maybe go up or something so we can have this little stair it seven shift D we bring it here s to scale uh, we can also lock the scale to the grid so s to scale so it kind of snaps a bit more now I'm just doing something very like kind of wonky it's just kind of a demonstration but yeah so this is the idea and you can go like this and just build your own dungeon slash uh, room for your battles or whatever 
and we can go here and you want to add some decor so shift d shift d shift d and then why not we have a table shift d art sorry uh let's place it before r to rotate and we can kind of go on like this uh, basically forever until you're happy with your um, with your dungeon now unfortunately i'm completely shit at actually making dungeons i might be good with uh programming but um not so much with this kind of stuff but you can see the point like you can go on and build your own little dungeon and you can also set the scale to whatever you want so if you want them a bit bigger it's basically a matter of preference you should all be aligned to the grid so it should be relatively easy to scale stuff and you can go on and build your own dungeon and for these situations here if you ever like i i kind of build it wrong but if you ever find yourself in this situation uh you can always tab into edit mode so tab brings you into this view so if you align yourself like this or you hit uh, one of the um, one of the axis keys which i cannot find which one this is i'm assuming we can click this possibly maybe in the other side so if we click this we kind of have some objects between us but doesn't matter anyways so you have everything selected you can deselect here you have a select box you can also use the lasso or the circle so on the top here we enable x-ray so we can select the edges behind it you just go box select and we just uh, delete vertices so i might have deleted a bit uh, more than we wanted but um, as you can see now I don't have like a piece of wall anymore so you can go in there and try to delete the extra and the same for everything else you can select any part of this and remove this remove it as you see fit well i hope this helped i'm afraid my dungeon is a bit shit, but i'm sure uh, you people will have um, much better skills than me at actually building maps so I can't wait to see what you come up with and this um this asset pack is from someone that uh, it's called cake it and this is completely free so you can make maps with this and share them with the community and you can even sell them if you for example have a patreon and you want to make like some 3d maps you can include them in your patreon it's free for commercial and personal use so have fun with it and enjoy